leave it to Little Havana to add a shot of Cuban coffee to a banana batido. A batido is a milkshake. It's perfect in the morning. And a cortadito, which is milk with coffee, a little one, in the afternoon at 3.05. I'm Jose. I grew up in Little Havana. Calle Ocho, that's 8th Street in Spanish, is my home away from home. <laughs> Look around. And the whole neighborhood is a cultural museum. On Saturday nights as a kid, my parents would take me to the movies at the Tower Theater. That's how I got my American accent. This fruteria is the oldest open air market in the city, with the freshest juices around. Naranja, mame, coco frio, mango, guarapo, which is uh, sugar cane juice. So many choices. Oh, and don't get me started on the ice cream shop up the street. Susie keeps adding new flavors every day. That's Carlos, a buddy of mine. He's headed to Domino Park to play dominoes. Never, never talk to them during a game. In Little Havana, dominoes are as important as black beans and rice. You know, Cuban comfort food. You can find it everywhere here. And everyone thinks theirs is the best. Javier owns a cigar shop down the street. In Little Havana, we hand roll cigars the old-fashioned Cuban way. That's a show to watch. That's Pedro Pablo Peña. He's a living legend here and has a ballet company in Little Havana on Fifth Avenue. He trains the ballerinas who defected from Cuba. And their daughters, and their daughters' daughters. On the last Friday of every month, we have a huge street festival called Viernes Culturales, Cultural Fridays. Great mojitos, great live music, and all the galerias stay open. In Little Havana, we learn how to salsa before we learn how to walk. This place, well, you just have to come see it for yourself. It's not going anywhere, but I am. <laughs>